This is practice for combat that is likely just days away. The newly created United Nations Intervention Brigade are in their final stages of training in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Their task is to help the Congolese forces take on rebel groups like the M23 movement, who've kept conflict in the country for more than a decade. The UN mission in the DRC, already its biggest peacekeeping force anywhere in the world, will now number over 20,000. To highlight the importance of resolving the situation, US Secretary of State John Kerry made a rare visit to the United Nations in New York. There is an opportunity for peace. This is an area that has been beleaguered by targeted, egregious violence. Uh, and the framework that has been put in place is an opportunity uh, to be able to make a difference. With Secretary Kerry chairing a special Security Council debate, the Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon, said dialogue was needed following reports the Congolese army had mistreated M23 prisoners. I'm therefore deeply concerned about the current hostilities between M23 movement and the Congolese armed forces. All parties need to return as soon as possible uh, to the Kampala talks. But some analysts are questioning how much this UN debate will really achieve. Are the Congolese officials in Kinshasa, are the rebels in the eastern Congo taking notice of this? They have seen a lot of high-profile figures come and go. They've seen a lot of Western leaders declare um, great concern about the Congo over the years. But they know that this interest is often ephemeral and may fade away. More than 10 years of fighting in the country has killed 3.5 million people and displaced nearly 5 million, with many now living in refugee camps. The World Bank has already pledged a billion dollars in aid, and now the United Nations is backing up its words with actions giving the Intervention Brigade the unprecedented mandate to use lethal force to neutralize rebel groups. But while the United Nations hopes the Intervention Brigade will ultimately bring peace to the region, aid agencies have expressed concerns that in the short term, the looming offensive will only make matters worse. Nick Harper, CCTV, New York.